Hello, this is Siddharth Thamber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine. A fairly common question I get asked by colleagues is, how do I use regenerative medicine treatments in the setting of my autoimmune and inflammatory patients? And it's a great question, and I have a case that I think helps to explain and give some details in that regard. So I have a patient who is in his early 50s. He's a gentleman that has ankylosing spondylitis. So in patients that have systemic inflammatory issues, meaning inflammation throughout the body that have joint issues. My first take is always, if they have total body inflammation, you really need a solution that's total body. And that generally does not mean a injectable option into a specific joint or tendon. So things you can consider, um, you can certainly consider things like over-the-counter supplements like omega-3, curcumin, glucosamine, as well as some dietary change is as well, which can be helpful. For most of these people though, they end up requiring medication to control their overall symptoms. And rather than using just anti-inflammatory medications, it's more medications that work on the immune system to help calm things down and modulate it. So that's always first line. And for some of these people, they do great. They don't need anything else. For a lot of these people, however, they may still have some residual joint issues. And so if somebody has one or two joint issues, you can still treat that with some of the regenerative treatments rather than relying on steroid injections or anti-inflammatory medications or chronic narcotics. So in the case of my patient, he has, um, uh, well, his ankylosing spondylitis in general, he's doing quite well with overall control of his condition with medication. He does, however, still have some residual hip issues. He's got a pain in the right hip along the side of the hip that also goes down the leg. So on his imaging, he has very mild arthritic changes in the right hip. The most important thing in his imaging is that he has a fused SI joints on both sides. So the sacroiliac joint sits in between, basically, uh, basically connects the pelvis to the lumbar spine and is a key support uh, in the pelvis and offers significant stability as well as offloads a lot of the stress that goes through the hip as well and the pelvis. And so if somebody has a fused SI joint, they're prone to not only lower back pain, they can also be prone to hip pain as well. So in this gentleman's case, my sense has been that a lot of his pain is actually coming from his SI joint being fused and then secondarily developing stress on the hip. Uh, not only the hip joint, but also some of the hip ligaments and the hip tendons as well. And that's based on clinical examination, some diagnostic ultrasound, and um, basically just also clinical feel and experience in these kind of patients. So in his case, what I recommended was platelet-rich plasma where we're taking a sample of his blood, concentrating into a high concentration of his own platelets, platelet-rich plasma, and then injecting that into the hip joint, specifically injecting 14 times concentration platelet-rich plasma into the hip joint, then injecting platelet lysate into the hip joint as well, ligaments around the hip. He also has some hip flexor symptoms as well, so injecting platelet-rich plasma into the hip flexor tendons, and then lastly, also injecting around the ligaments of the SI joints. You can't actually inject into the SI joint in his case because the joint is fused. I can, however, inject into the hip, uh, into the SI ligaments, and um, uh, that is offering some support, stability, which will then also help his overall symptoms. So that's how I would approach someone who's got a autoimmune or inflammatory condition, control the systemic things, and then start dealing with the residual remaining things as well to get somebody better. So hopefully he gets a good result, and hopefully that um, gives you a better sense for how to treat these kind of things. Thanks for your time. If you found this interesting or valuable, give it a like, um, give it a follow, and until we connect again, have a good day and live well. Bye-bye.